Hey guys, welcome to my channel Kanak's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you one of the most amazing chocolate dessert ever which is an ultimate show stopper for any kind of gatherings or party that is melting chocolate ball or in other words you can also call it as magical chocolate ball. Melting chocolate ball is a ball or a shell of chocolate which is melted by pouring a hot caramel sauce or chocolate sauce over it to reveal something good or surprise inside. This chocolate dessert is completely mesmerizing and you can easily prepare at home with only a few ingredients. So come quickly I'll show you what you need for this. So before starting, I would like to show you this chocolate mold or shell in which I'm going to set the chocolate ball. This is made of plastic and it comes in two pieces like this, which you can easily close and then easily open. This one is 5 inches in size, that is around 12 to 13 centimeters, I think. But you can choose to use any size you like. It comes in smaller size also and it is very easily available in the market nowadays and even online. Now here I've got some chopped dark chocolate to which I'm going to add a little portion of chopped milk chocolate as I personally like this combination but if you want you can use any one chocolate you like here. I am going to melt this chocolate in the microwave for 30 seconds first and then stir it and again melt it for around 15 seconds or until you get the desired melted and smooth chocolate consistency free from any kind of lumps like this. So if you want, you can also use the double boiler method here for the even melting of the chocolate. Now let it stand just for 5 to 10 seconds. And now I'm going to pour this melted chocolate into one half of the mold by filling it up to the one fourth portion or the quarter of it as this will be enough to cover the entire shell. Now close it with the other half of the mold, making sure it's properly sealed and closed. And now start rotating the mold all around so that it's evenly coated with the chocolate on all the walls and sides. You can see how I'm doing. The easiest way of doing this is to keep shaking the mold so that the chocolate is evenly distributed and coated well on all the sides. So keep doing this for a while. And now you can see the entire surface is properly coated. I'm going to put this into the refrigerator to set for at least 45 minutes to an hour or until it is warm. But make sure you give it a little shake after every 2 minutes after putting it into the fridge for 3 to 4 times. This is done so that the melted chocolate inside doesn't end up setting on one side but it should be evenly set. Now leave it to harden. While you are waiting for the chocolate shell to set, you can prepare your caramel sauce. Here I have already got my caramel sauce ready for which you can refer to one of my video. You can prepare this in advance and store it in the fridge as I have done to make my work easy and then we need to warm it up before pouring. So keep this aside for some time. Now it's been an hour, the chocolate shell should be set enough for demolding but before removing it, warm up a microwave safe plate or a bowl just for a minute and keep it ready. This is done to create an opening on one side so that we can fill it up with the surprise or the goodies we want. So now this plate is ready. Next, for demolding, 
Now this is set enough. I'm going to slowly remove one side of the mold, taking care not to put more pressure on it. And then slowly remove the upper mold this way. You can see how beautifully it has come out. Similarly, do this with the other half of the mold. And now this entire shell is intact and it is ready. It looks quite beautiful and smooth. Now carefully handle the mold. Now rub the bottom of the chocolate ball on the hot plate to melt the chocolate at the base and make an opening there. Keep doing this for a while until you get a hole which is big enough to fit the brownie and ice cream into it. So you can see this is how it looks. This opening is enough for putting the brownie and chocolate inside. After making this opening, let it again set in the fridge for another few more minutes or until you make your caramel sauce hot. Now let's do the plating. Here I've got this shallow plate on which I'm going to place a brownie first. You can put anything you like. And for this basic eggless brownie, you can refer to one of my video. After the brownie, next I'm going to put a scoop of vanilla ice cream into it. With a few mixed nuts. And berries on top. Now remove the chocolate ball from the fridge. And now slowly place it onto the brownie and the ice cream. And then again I am going to put a few strawberries and a few mint leaves on the side for extra garnishing. This is optional. You can see how beautifully it's looking already. And now comes the moment of truth. I'm going to pour the hot caramel sauce over it all around to break the shell and reveal what's inside it and it will slowly start to melt. This one is a really most easiest dessert which you can prepare to impress anybody. So you can see the lovely chocolate brownie with the chilled vanilla ice cream scoop and the warm caramel sauce. What more you can ask for? Do enjoy this and surprise your special ones. So my beautiful and impressive looking melting chocolate ball is ready and the combination of the warm caramel sauce with the chocolate brownie and the chilled vanilla ice cream scoop is truly truly amazing and is to die for. I think this one is a must try recipe especially for all the chocolate and dessert lovers. So do try this today only and let me know how it turned out for you and comment below for any other suggestions, feedbacks or requests for me. So thank you guys for taking out your precious time to watch this videos and help me get 2000 likes on this video by sharing it with your friends and family as I've tried this recipe for more than 6 to 7 times with different techniques and molds to show you guys on my channel. So guys, if you really like this recipe, do give it a thumbs up, share the videos with your friends and family by clicking on the share button below and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet by clicking on the logo below. I'll see you soon in the next recipe. Bye-bye. So guys, if you enjoy watching my videos, then do subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below and you can check out for more of my amazing and yummy delicious recipe by clicking on the videos over here. It's me Kanak signing off. Bye-bye.